Okay, so welcome to the another video tutorial and in this particular video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can host the mail server on cyber panel. Okay, or rather I should say how to configure the mail server on the cyber panel. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first thing is needed is the server where you will be hosting the cyber panel or you will be installing the cyber panel. So in my case, I'm going to use the digital ocean. If you have any other cloud provider account, then please go ahead and use it. But if you don't have it, click link in the description, you will get $200 credit for free in order to try DigitalOcean, right? So let's go ahead, let's click on the login and as you can see, it is showing me, please, please log in. So let's go ahead and log in here and I have already created this server and I have already installed this cyber panel on it, okay? but. There is a one thing you need to check right now. I am using the digital ocean and digital ocean is the one of the popular cloud provider, which is not blocking port 25, which is responsible for the sending the emails. That means that we can host the email service right here. But if I compare to AWS, Walter, Linode, Google, any other cloud provider, which is popular, they are not allowing to send emails from the server. So that's why we are choosing the DigitalOcean to do it because DigitalOcean don't have any limitations, but it comes with the drawback. Hence it is available for sending the emails. A lot of people are creating email servers, sending the spam emails and lowering the IP reputation. So first thing you need to check is let's copy this particular IP address. Let's go to the uh, new tab and let's check IP black, uh, let's say blacklist. Okay. Click enter and go to the MX toolbox and here we will check IP blacklist. So let's paste our IP address and check for the blacklist and it is showing the IP is blacklisted on the four list. Okay. This is really bad. It should be at least have a two or let's say three max three. That's it. Max three. Anything above three is not good. So make sure that while you are creating the server, you create multiple server, five, six servers and you will check the each IP address right here in this particular MX toolbox website and make sure that you are getting the uh, IP or you are selecting the server to install the cyber panel which has less listed blacklist, right? So for me it's four which is bad but anyway I'm recording the tutorial so I'm going to use it anyway. So right now I have a cyber panel installed on this particular uh, server so as you can see right here so let me just pull my cyber panel here. So as you can see, this is the cyber panel which is installed. Uh, let's go here and let's uh, create the website. Let's click on the list website, create website. And the domain name I'm going to use is oneyt.in and which is already pointed to this particular server. So before creating a website, before creating anything, there are two things you need to do. First, open the new tab, open the uh, DNS of your domain. In my case, I'm using cloud provider. In your case, it might be GoDaddy, Namecheap or whatever from where you purchase the domain name. And here, as you can see, I have created the record for one byte dot in a name record. And this is the my server IP address. But I need to create one more a name record, which is mail. And then I need to paste the IP address. And as you can see, it is auto completing here mail dot one byte dot in. And once it is done, let's not make this proxy. Let's open this because otherwise it will not get, get SSL for mail server. So let's save it right here. This step is only ap applicable for the cloud fear, not selecting the proxy. I'm talking about this way, uh, step. Okay, let me go to the edit. I'm talking about this particular thing, proxy status, right? This is only available on the cloud fear. We need to turn it off. If you are using, let's say, digital, uh, sorry, uh, if you are using GoDaddy or some other DNS, then uh, definitely this uh, function is not there. You can just simply create a name record and that's it. Now, hence we created a name record for two things. First, mail domain, and then there is a main domain, which is a main base website, one yt dot in. Uh, let's go to the cyber panel now. Let's select the default owner and let's type one yt dot in right here. Then select email address. You can select any, but make sure that you are typing the right one because on the email address, you will get the alerts like your XSL certificate will expire, etc, etc. Uh, let's select the PHP version. Uh, as of now, it doesn't matter. Okay. But let's select anyway. Let's select the SSL DKIM support, which is necessary in mail server. Then there is open base their protection not needed in this case, but anyway, I'm adding. Then there is a create a mail domain, which is needed in this case. 
let's click on the create and it should start creating so as you can see on the screen it is saying successfully installed so let's go ahead let's go to the dashboard and let's see if the mail server domain is created or not for this what you can do is you can just go to the ssl here in the bottom or you can just go to the ssl in the dashboard this here and then mail server ssl and then select the mail server so as you can see it is creating this mail.1yt.in let's select that issue ssl sometimes by default it will not issue ssl that's why i am doing this particular extra step manual step in order to issue ssl so let's for wait for some time and it should get let's encrypt ssl for our postfix mail server which is on cyber panel so as you can see it is saying ssl issued your email server is uses the let's encrypt in the message right here okay so we are ready to go so next thing we need to do is we need to create a mail account so let's go back to the dashboard let's select the emails let's select the create email and let's select our domain name i'm going to select one yt dot in i'm going to create mail called info and then there is a password okay so let's generate the password and i will just copy this part of the password right here so that i can remember and let's create email account so this is email account which is created so if you want to access the mail account what you can do is in the create email list as you can see there is access web mail thing is there or if you go back there is access web mail thing here let's click on this and let's uh, enter our details here which is info at one yt i suppose dot in so let's type one yt dot in i did something right okay so here and let's password paste the password let's click on the remember me and click the sign in and that should give you the access to this particular uh, mail a uh, nice mail web interface next thing we need to do is we need to go to the cyber panel back okay so let's copy this particular url open in the new tab paste it right here 1890 right and go to the cyber panel again and we need to check the dkim record okay so on the left hand side there is there is you can see the mail is there let's click on that and in the mail list there is a dkim manager click on that and select the your website here one yt dot in and as you can see dkim key is generated and then again select the mail here and the select uh, the key is generated already okay so sometimes what happens the this key is not getting generated because there is a bug in cyber panel in my case it didn't happen that's why i hadn't i'm not showing the solution for that but if you're facing similar issue where your dkim keys are not getting created automatically then what you can do is just put in the comment i will create another video for it right uh next thing we need to do is add the dns record which is most important part okay so let's go ahead on the dashboard right here and let's go to the mm, dns and then let's go to the add delete records then click on the select website and select one yt dot in okay so once you select as you can see it is showing to create a nm record for this mail domain then there is a record for the one yt dot in also and there is a cp test also so i think the cp test thing is i think uh, in the beta so we are not going to record create a name record for that but for these particular two things we have already created so let's go to the cloud fair and i will show you so let me minimize it okay where is it cancel okay so uh, as you can see there is a mail and there is a one yt dot in so we have already created a name record for that let's go ahead and click on the c name the c name records as of now it's not important go to the mx and we need to create a mx record for both of them so let's first is one yt dot in so let's copy the record value first go to the dns add the record and type at here because the value was for one yt dot in so uh, again we need to select the which record we are creating so let's type mx here and it will pop up the mx for me and then i will paste the value of the mx and the priority is i think zero was priority right okay so priority was 10 so let's select the priority 10 and let's save it okay and another uh, record we need to add mx record is uh, this one okay so let's type mx right here get the mx record ready and then copy the mail one or you can just copy this one okay okay so it is i think repeating itself we don't need to create this particular record great uh, then go to the txt and 
let's go to the creating these all txt record first is spf let's copy the spf value and hence it is for one yt dot in we will stick with that so let's type txt here and go to txt select at so that it will get this default value and paste the content and then save it similarly just repeat for this one also dmrc in this case we need to copy the dmrc word let's go here uh, let's add and let's write here add the dmrc do the txt and that should be showing dmrc.1.18 and then we can just paste the value so for me hence i'm using cloudflare it is doing some things automatically but in your case if you are using different dns provider i'm not sure that if you are getting the same thing or not right so let's go ahead copy another let's go ahead create the txt record and again right here go back copy paste it right here and save it okay so if the, the auto completion thing is not there in your dns you can just copy and write the whole records as per this okay then there is a default domain key let's copy this go ahead right here and as you can see it is auto completing right here then go back copy the value copy the everything Control C and Control V. Okay, so I forgot to add TXT here. Once it is done, let's type TXT here. In this particular record, we need to make one change. First thing, we need to remove all double columns, right? So uh, first thing I need to do is let's remove the all double columns right here. So let's locate all double columns. Or you can do is what you can do is you can just uh, open the terminal and let's say you have okay so let me close this let's say you have the uh, vs code installed okay so for me the code in vs code is there installed already uh, i can just do one thing i can just type code dot or i can just uh, hit here and uh, search for the vs code also in menu bar okay so let me open the new tab and paste it right here and what i will do i will go to the beginning and i will just make sure that i am selecting only one this uh, double code and once it is selected, I will hit Control D and it will automatically select all of it. And I can hit the backspace. It will be all of the removed from the uh, all the double quotes will be removed. And once it is done, I can just click here anywhere and I can do Control A to select all. Then Control C to copy all. And I will go back. Let's close this terminal and I will paste it right here. So as you can see, there are no double quotes. Great. Uh, save it. Uh, go ahead and let's uh, go to the this particular uh, record again let's copy the value then go ahead type the txt then mail uh, mail dot one dot dot in then they paste the content then save it and let's uh, uh, you know repeat this process for one two more times let's set txt and then paste it right here let me grab the value and let me paste the value here once it is done let's go back again then there is a default domain key uh, let's go ahead click on create then txt create type paste copy okay my voice is going down okay so let's go ahead and save it and as you can see we have already created all dns record those were required in order to set up the mail server but there is a one more point you should keep in your mind. We have renewed the mail SSL. We have renewed the SSL. That means uh, we, okay, so I will show you. We got, they, they, this was the first step we did. We go to the SSL, we selected the mail server and we created the uh, mail uh, SSL for this mail dot one dot yt dot in, right? We clicked on issue, issue SSL and it was showing the successful. That means we successfully created mail server. Hence, it is updated. We need to restart the server. That's the that's the biggest step people forget to do, right? That's why their mails are not landing in the inbox. So let's go ahead. Let's open the terminal right here and let's do ssh root at and server IP address. Okay, let me make the my terminal a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's copy the server IP from right here and again terminal paste the ip hit the enter let me make it bigger then let's again add the password here and that should you that should be it right in giving the login let's clear everything and let's type reboot 
and it shouldn't take too much long it will just take few um, i don't know few seconds 10 20 seconds and let's go ahead and let's wait for two one two three four five six refresh okay so right now the server is rebooted and we are ready to go first thing we have the snappy mail open here and if you remember from last i have logged in here so i will send a test email from here so that uh, i will check if the emails are being sent or not right that's the best way to check it so for this i'm going to use the service called email checker so i will just type let's say email uh, checker or you can just type the email test also or test email also and go to the mail tester website this is the website where we want to go uh, let's copy this particular email address let's go new message to this particular thing and let's open another tab and let's tab google bard okay so basically i asked bard to write the email if you don't know what is a bard please go ahead and explore yours by swell and uh, you can just go to the bard.google.com this is the sample email i am going to use let's copy the title here or subject here let's go ahead then hi everyone whatever it is and let's copy everything and let's paste in the body and it is showing some black thing here the markdown thing was copied i guess um no worries let's send the email and let's go to the spam test website which is mail tester website let's click on the then check your score and it is showing 9.5 staggering 9.5 that's a good that's a win actually if you are sending this email then it will land in the uh, obviously in the inbox but let's check what is wrong it is showing the 0 0.5 was minus because of backlist so it's not mail server fault it's not my fault it's a ip fault actually it's a blacklist fault otherwise we should have the 10 out of 10 because we did all uh, configurations right and as you can see it is just doing 0 0.5 minus for what this uh, you know the blacklist thing right um, okay but uh, I am a little, little bit disappointed because I wanted to see the 10 here but in your case if you have the good quality IP address uh, with the uh, uh, reputation then definitely you will get 10 right here uh, if you are facing any issue with the setting of the email server, please let me know. I will try my best to uh, find a solution for your issues. And if you would like this video, like and subscribe is a must because I am trying to grow my channel really really hard. So please subscribe. And that's pretty much all for this particular video. We got good score here. Our uh, email will land in the inbox. Thanks for watching. See you in the next. And subscribe.